some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. If you could do that for me, I humbly, respectfully ask that you give me a PR bond so I can at least properly defend myself, especially that I invoke my rights as a tribal chief. Yeah, here we go again. This guy is back. The guy who uh, tried to use the treaty of peace and friendship in court and the guy who thinks he is uh, Moroccan royalty and a tribal chief of uh, some Sovtard nation here in the United States. I mean, but at any rate, he's back in court after a... Uh, competence evaluation so let's go ahead and sit back relax and see if this guy is competent enough to stand trial for well trespassing uh, charges at an airport and this is city versus uh, sylvester uh, evans it, it, there's a show in the blue line zero eight two zero one nine everybody can come out there five five two five three a zero five four nine two one five four a zero two three one eight nine eight 4A0472552 and 3A0312319. Um, have the parties had an opportunity to review the evaluation? Yes. Yes, Chairman. Yeah, um, did either party take exception to the court? Okay. I have an objection. Yeah. All right, so check to the court adopting the evaluation. Uh, what's the status of the evaluation? Was it competent or incompetent? I'm not able to proceed. So I mean they found me incompetent? Yes. Okay, could I see the paperwork on that so I can review it and have that challenged? Dude, uh, uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Why would you want to have that uh, challenge to begin with? Because you could probably use that to get some uh, services from the government for people of, uh, well, lower standards of IQ, just to say the least. So this uh, declaration of incompetence might be a good thing for you in the long run if you're able to take advantage of it. Uh, but looking at the rest of this uh, video, uh, I don't think he even has the capability of understanding that uh, ruling. So just to be clear, if you're incompetent, everything gets dismissed. Okay. Okay. If you're competent, then everything proceeds. So um, that's what I'm asking. Did the doctor find me competent or incompetent? Incompetent. Okay. Under what circumstances? What was the what was his reasoning? Um, delusional thinking. And what proof did he have on that? Huh, yeah, I wonder what kind of proof he had. Flashback. Of the letter, I mailed the letter out. There's no reason it shouldn't have reached you, but the letter had very personal and sensitive information regarding my sovereignty as a uh, chief of a sovereign tribe that's federally and internationally recognized, so I can at least properly defend myself, especially that I invoke my rights as a tribal chief. Based on the information that I have. Okay. The case has a seal on it, and uh, you're going to have to get permission from the Chief Justice Roberts to get the seal broken. I don't understand what the U.S. Supreme Court has to do with a Louisiana state case. Because it, it, it holds my rights, as my constitutional rights and privileges as a chief of a federally and internationally recognized tribal chief. End of flashback. Huh, I can't imagine... Uh why you were declared uh, incompetent. I mean, but my uh, friend Napoleon Bonaparte over there might just have a reason why. But right now, he's kind of giving me the silent treatment, so we're just going to have to talk to him later. I mean, the, the, the interview that he did with you. Okay, and um, being that you said everything is dismissed uh, due to delusional thinking uh, by law, from what I read at the law library, it said being delusional in itself is not um, reason in, in itself to be declared incompetent. That, that, that you are unable to assist in your own defense because of it. So there are two prongs, there are two ways that you can find someone unable to proceed, that they don't understand the nature of the proceedings, which you clearly do, and the evaluator said that. 
um, but that you were unable to assist in your own defense due to the delusional thinking. Well, that's uh, being with the letter that I sent to you, that would directly refute that, correct? No, that supports that. What the letter I sent to you, it had motions that I wanted filed and would not, that would prove that I'm able to assist in my defense, correct? No, it, it, it was you wouldn't give me any information. You gave me half half information about things, refused I, to give the further information when I asked in court. Um, I, well, I did declare that the information regarding the evidence that was a matter of secret uh, state privilege. And then I also declared that uh, the motions that I want to file, I didn't have okay. access to the law library to get the proper documentations. Yeah, a matter of state secrets. Uh, yeah, that's why nobody can access them. Yeah, okay, dude. Is it any wonder why this idiot was declared incompetent if he actually believes this crap? I am. Um, I'm. I am adopting the evaluation over your objection, um, and finding that you are unable to proceed in these matters. So the the pretrial cases are dismissed. All of the reviews are closed, pending a further finding of able to proceed. Um, the evaluator did not opine that you should be evaluated by DCR prior to release, so you are just released today. You okay, can appeal I'll... this. You, you're welcome to appeal this finding, this ruling, um, and you could come to the court and the clerks can tell you how to do that, what paperwork to file. All right, so I'll be released from jail today. Correct. And also, can I get the paperwork of the evaluation from the doctor? Um, you represent yourself, so I think you kind of have a right to it. Um, yeah, how do I get that paperwork? Uh, Mr. Ainati, are you able, are we able to print that out for him? We can print it off and give it to the officers to give to him. Okay, we'll get that to you today. Okay. All right, thank you, Mr. Evans. Um, and I, also, I want, I want to put on record that I want to uh, file a notice to appeal to the Supreme Court of the state of Washington. Well, okay then. Uh, your case has been dismissed because you've been declared incompetent, but you still want to take this all the way to the Washington State Supreme Court? Uh, no, you can't do that. You still got to go through the Superior Courts first, and well, go step by step before you take it all the way to the Supreme Court. But like I said, if you've been declared incompetent by the courts, you might want to use that to your advantage in your uh, everyday life and uh, try to apply for some uh, governmental services or something like that. Because if you are that incompetent, I mean, you need all the help you can get. That's uh, appeals from um, courts of limited jurisdiction go to King County Superior Court. I understand that, but I want to bypass the Superior Courts and go directly to the Supreme Court due to the circumstances and the nature of the judgment. Okay, you can you can try to do that. Um, um, I want it on record uh, noted. If you, you have know, a, you have to actually file it. This that means nothing. You have to actually file the documentation. You have to file notice. That's impossible to do uh, from in here. Is you saying when I get out, I have to file it? Yes, correct. You'll have 30 days to file it. Oh, you're saying it's impossible to file an appeal while you're in jail. Uh, there are a whole lot of people that would argue against that point. I mean, because, you know, essentially that would be denying you of your uh, due process, which is a constitutional right, you numb nuts. Okay. Okay. Um, you should know, though, that the you are still trespassed from the airport. Nothing in what I've done today affects that. That is the, the airport's trespass notice. It is still fully valid. You will be rearrested. Okay? So if even if I'm there on personal travel, I'll be rearrested? Um, you have to comply with their rules and restrictions. I'm not going to give you legal advice as to what that that constitutes because you need to look at your trespass notice. But yeah, I was there this time on legal. We're, business. we're done. We're done with this case. This case is dismissed. So we don't don't owe me any explanations. I'm just telling you that the trespass order from the airport is still out there. OK, you may think it's all over with, but not this guy. No, he's 
definitely not done with uh, putting his stupidity on full display. I'm just letting you know. Okay, so I can still be arrested um, under false premises. Because they also said I confessed in this case, which was not true. I am just telling you that the trespass order is still in is still there. That's okay. all I'm telling you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Also, also, what I'd ha uh, I want to fire Mr. Iannetti as well. He doesn't represent you. We've already gone through that. He doesn't represent you. You can't. Okay. Well, is he going to give me the paperwork that I need for these proceedings? Score will. Okay, and the evaluation as well from the doctor. Yes, I believe we'll be printing that out. Mr. Ainati said he would print that out for you. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, are the what is going on with the review cases? I guess I haven't They're heard them. Closed. Part. They're all closed, pending a further finding of able to proceed. If maybe closed. What What does that mean? It means there are no I keep, no affirmative conditions can or no conditions can be imposed because there's a finding of unable to proceed. So they can be reopened later. They can. So I can have a warrant placed oh. and I don't even know it once again. Well, no, you would have to get notice of a hearing. Like this time, I didn't get notice of the review hearing and they placed the warrant out for failure to appear. I didn't even know I had a, 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 a hearing on the review charges. Okay. It, this is why it's very important to keep your address updated. My address is uh very um i don't know for lack of a better word i do a lot of moving around so i don't have a, a steady address that you can always i can always get mail at at the moment so that's how we got in this position the first time well so that sounds like i mean if you're not going to let us know how to get in touch with you then you can't complain when we when you don't get notice i can give you an email would you be able to contact me by email and i think we have that listed but they never contacted, gave me a notice of any hearing via email. Okay. Um, we will make a note um, email only. And, and I'm still confused as well. Are the case is open or closed? Closed. He's unable unable to proceed. That so. And I'm I'm confused by that. So the the conditions were imposed. <coughs> There's an allegation that he violated him. He's not found competent. We can't move forward in those violations, but it doesn't invalidate the conditions that were set because those were done at a time that he was competent. Like, the, the, is the court still taking jurisdiction? Like, I'm, I'm still struggling with that. I can't. We, I can't impose conditions. The conditions were already imposed, though. I know, and they're stayed. Everything is stayed. Sure, we're sure. Like, but so the case is open but stayed, or, right. or is it I guess closed? That's a better way to characterize it, but it's for all intents and purposes closed, effectively pending a further finding of able to proceed. And also, would I be able to subpoena any grand jury proceedings that may have taken place as well? You either didn't research or you are indeed uh, so incompetent that uh, you perceive yourself as being greater than you are because a trespassing case does not warrant a grand jury in the state of Washington. These are the conditions that do warn it. And, well, uh, according to Washington state law, no. Just one more reason why I'm, I'm sure they declared you incompetent. Delusions of grandeur. There are no grand juries in courts of limited jurisdiction, and I don't believe there are in Washington at all, other than federal. Okay, okay. And um, so you said, yeah, I'll get a copy of the evaluation. And you say, I got 30 days to start filing motions to try to get everything reversed, right? At this point, your only avenue is appeal. Correct. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. So I think the city is objecting to them being closed in, in, in any way. So they're not closed. They're just, I mean, I thought we talked about this. I know, but when we're using words like closed, are there, is there going to be a CL or no. closed disposition? No. Because that, that's what's going to be in the docket as they're closed. And so in a year or two, if this comes up again, is it's going to be very difficult to figure out what exactly happened today. If we're well, in two break. years, it's too late. Jurisdictions run. Sure, there's some situation where that, that wouldn't be the case. But uh, so the cases are open is all I'm trying to understand. 
Yes, they are not closed, closed. They're just. Okay. Okay, so would you be able to clarify that for me, Miss uh, Your Honor, in layman terms, so I can get an understanding because you said it's not closed, but it's open closed, which is kind of difficult for me to and understand. I, I, I am, you guys are right. I should be use more careful language. The cases are open. They they are stayed, which means frozen, essentially, and, unless a, there's a further finding by a doctor that you are able to proceed. Would that be able to be done in the appellate courts or the state Supreme Court or overturning his uh, findings or what? How do you get the proceedings to be found? How do you get that overwritten, basically, with the doctor prescribed or um, diagnosed? So, and, and this is interesting. It's a situation I haven't come across where there's a, a an individual wanting to contest the finding. Um, yeah, based on, I, I don't have the law library's information in front of me, but based on uh, the information I read got from the law library, a uh, uh, defendant cannot be declared incompetent by delusional being delusional in itself. And That's I just explained, I explained to you what the what the evaluator opined that your delusion is impeding your ability to assist in your own defense. That's what the evaluator. Am I am I and, characterizing that correctly, Mr. Mercer, Mr. Ayanati? That's what it, it sounded like to me. In what way, though? How is it impeding? Uh, you're asserting defenses that don't exist. Such as? Uh, um, the, the, the stuff about the case in Louisiana. I'm, I asserted evidence that has a seal on it. So they the only way he can find out that it doesn't, uh, what I'm saying is not true, is to get the seal broken on the evidence, which is under state secret privilege. And the only way you can get that broken is by orders of the president or Chief Justice Roberts okay. of the United States Supreme Court. So when you get all your ducks in a row to get that happening so that the court can see it, um, it sounds very far-fetched. I've never heard of anything similar happening on a state case that the U.S. Supreme Court would involve themselves, much less that any one justice would have authority to unseal something. Um, I'm again. I'm adopting Do, this finding. You can appeal. Uh, is everything that we spoke about today on the record? Would I be able to get uh, recordings of all the subpoena recordings of all the hearings, including what we're talking about today? They are all online, available to, for you to listen to anytime you want. Okay, and they all can be subpoenaed by the uh, uh, state supreme court and whatnot to be overturned or sealed. They also, are not, so they are not going to do any investigation on your behalf. If you're appealing, no. you have to do all the investigation. Right. No, I don't need them to uh, do the investigation. Everything's pretty much said and done. The only thing is the assumption that you guys don't believe the evidence is uh, under state secret privilege. And I am who I'm telling you I am. So okay. you're believing I'm delusional. Am I correct? That's correct. Right. So y'all making assumptions that's not true that I have to go through the process and get everything removed to the federal courts to, to prove that it's true, which is going to be under seal at that moment. But I give the state Supreme Court a chance to make the adjustments and okay. override. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Evans. You'll be released today and you can get working on all that. Well, now to sum it all up, uh, the guy was definitely declared incompetent to uh, be able to assist in his own defense. So the case is being dismissed as a result of it, but the trespassing warrant still stands against him, so he can't ever go back to that airport. Now, in the meantime, he wants to file an appeal to the state Supreme Court, which is jumping the gun a little bit because you've got to still go through the uh, lower courts to get to the higher courts. Uh, yeah, what a moron this guy is. Definitely incompetent. Definitely uh, not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I, and if he wants to file an appeal, he's got 30 days to do so. And uh, I don't think he could be able to get his head out of his ass in that amount of time. Uh, but if I were him, uh, I would probably try to use that uh, 
declaration of incompetence to try to get state benefits out of that. I mean, I've seen people do that in the past, and it generally works out for them. But I seriously doubt that this guy will ever take that route. I mean, he's just too incompetent to figure it out. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the third amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera, doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either gonna provide or you're going to. Jail. I'm gonna remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.